Hey you guys here with another Galaxy Note 3 video. In this video I want to give you guys a tip on how to move your apps from the internal memory card to an external mem um, SD card. Um, since 4.3 update um, this option has been added to the Galaxy phones especially the Galaxy S4 and the Galaxy S3 came out of the box with 4.3. So the same thing applies here. All you gotta do is swipe down, swipe over here uh, go over here, go to general, go to applications, and from right here you got downloaded. These are all the apps that you have downloaded so far. And from right here in the bottom, you can see the uh, device memory. You can see uh, 12 gigabyte used, 4 gigabytes free, 14 gigabytes free. Over here, if I go here, I can see the SD card. And from here, the apps that are check marked. That means that those apps are already in the memory card. Like you see right here, Asphalt 8 is already in the card. If you want to move it back to the storage, to the main storage device, you could go ahead and do that. Let's move it to storage device. But, um, like, and the great thing here is that only the apps that can be moved to the SD card will appear here. Not every app will appear here. So, Keep that in mind the apps that are not here just can't get moved and for example let's go ahead and move an app here let's go sort by size so i can see the size this one over here modern combat 4 1.91 gigabytes let's go ahead and tap on that move to sd card and that's it it's gonna take a, a it could take longer because of the bigger the file the longer it's gonna take uh, of course uh, right now i have a 32 gigabyte card that's a class 10 if it's a lower class, like a class 6 or class 4, uh, that transferring speed is going to be a lot slower. So keep that in mind as well. And that's it. Look at that. So it moved to storage SD card. And now I could go ahead. Now it has the option to move to device. So click back. And now, like you see right here, the app is already in the SD card. If I can keep on moving as much as I want. And that's it, that's very, very cool, very convenient. Of course, you don't have to go to settings if you're using TouchWiz. Right now, this is Smart Launcher, but um, let's go ahead and tap right here. If you're using TouchWiz, you can also choose to tap and hold a an app. Go to, let me see, there should be an option to app info. Nope, I thought there was, but let me see if I go here from the draw. I could go ahead, let's see if I pick an app here. Let's go ahead and pick Into the Dead. Uh, app Info. If I go to App Info, let's see, move to SD card. Just like that. So like you see, you have a couple options on how to move the app to the SD cards right there. And that's it. Same thing goes if you're using, I think, Smart Launcher. Let's go here, let's go ahead and put this as my default launcher. If I go to, to my uh, draw, I should have the same options here as well. Let me see if I can move another game here. Uh, tap and hold here. Uh, nope, I don't think I have the options here. Rate, dot, get detail. Okay, yeah, I do. I also have the options here. But like I said, some games will not be able to get moved to the SD card like this one. Move to SD card. I could go ahead and move it there. And that's it. So like you can see, no matter what launcher you're using, you're still gonna be able to move it to the SD card easily. So that's it guys, I hope you guys liked that tip. Till next time.